Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to. And my name is Sean Rasselt, and welcome to my Data Programming series. So, this is actually the, the third time that I'm recording this video. And the first time I had the random range incorrectly, I had it as rand range. Anyway, so I had to re, re record it. And the second video, um, it actually didn't record. So, let's try again. Um, today, we're going to be learning how to generate random numbers using the random and the random range functions and then display the random numbers in the memo here let's start with random to actually gen generate a random number we have to tell Delphi that we are going to be generating a random number so we're going to have to call the randomize oops randomize procedure to just basically tell Delphi that you have to be random let's add a variable for our, our random thing and guys, I'm going to be trying um, to go as fast as possible now with future videos. If you guys can't keep up, just pause the video and catch up. Because um, my videos are a bit long, I would like to try and make it a bit shorter to more quickly um, learn and go through it. So, yep, you're going to have to set I ran, I ran equals to random. Um, so, so, the random function expects a number. So, if you enter, for instance, 10, then it will generate a random number between or from 0 to 10. No, from 0 to 9, sorry. So if we um, plus 1, then it will now generate a random number um, from 1 to 10. Let's make it 100, so now it will generate a random number between, or not, not between, from 1 to 100. Let's display it in the memo, lines dot add into str i rand. So we compile now. We'll see it works. So it is generating a random number between not between. Oh it is, it is generating a random number from one to hundred. Not between from and to. Okay. It's random range. We have to declare randomize again. And then to use the random range function, we'll have to add math to the, to the users list already. Um, or again, I've already added, added, added it here. So just add math, and the interest is basically exactly the same. I ran integer. We said I ran to the random range function. So random range expects um, a value from and uh, to. So let's basically calculate, calculate or choose a random number from 1 to 10. Let's make it 100. So basically, this function and uh, this function does exactly the same. Let's also display this one. So as you guys can see, both works. And... Yep, that's it, that's it, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.